In your health tonight, when we first met Dr. Joan Karen a year ago at the Yukon Health Center, she told us about a drug she's been working with that's actually turning metastatic cancer cells into normal functioning cells. Her work with melanoma is starting to get some attention. And as Channel 3's Kara Sundlin reports, some of the doctor's recent developments with breast cancer are particularly astonishing. 90% of cancer deaths are due to metastatic disease, and breast cancer is almost always metastatic when it becomes fatal. And right now we have no cure for metastatic breast cancer. Recently, Dr. Karen received both normal and cancerous breast tissue from 17 different women and tested her drug on each sample. The result, she says, astounding. But what the drug did, it did the same thing to all 17 uh, samples from of cancerous tissue and it turned the tissue into a structured ordered tissue just like normal tissue is. The experiments worked every time. It wasn't like 3 out of 17 worked or whatever, it was 17 out of 17. Dr. Karen is a breast cancer survivor herself and although hers was caught early, she says that's just not going to happen every time. And so there's going, always going to be cases where um, late stage disease develops and right now we need a way to deal with that. And that's where her drug comes in, if she can get the support she needs to move forward. Now we're looking for funding for animal studies. I really would like to see it get to clinical trials. It, once you give the drug and you've changed a cancer cell or a bunch of can cancer cells into normal cells, you can then take the drug out and they stay normal, which is pretty amazing. The hardest part of this process, waiting. With funding for the animal studies, that could be done within probably six months to nine months. And once that's done, then we put a, a fast-track application into the, uh, the FDA to see if we can start clinical trials. Dr. Karen has recently submitted her research for publication and is waiting for someone to pick it up. She says she believes this drug will work against any cancer cell and hopes to work with colon and ovarian cancers next. For more information on Dr. Karen's cancer-fighting drug and how you can help, Head to our website, WFSB.com. With your health, I'm Kara Sundlin.